What's going on guys? It's Asal and over the weekend at BlizzCon, we got some pretty juicy details on Blizzard's new first person shooter Overwatch, which is currently in closed beta. We have details on the release date, pricing, that means yes, we will be paying for this game. It will not be free to play like a lot of people thought it would be. We're talking about launch content as well as the three different editions of the game that will be available. It's worthwhile to note that Overwatch will be available on the consoles, previously it was thought to be only on PC. PC, but the game will indeed ship on the Xbox One, the PS4, and of course the PC. Now this is great news I think, as wider availability is very welcome. Now the launch date of Overwatch is set for Spring of 2016, more specifically it will be released on or before June 21st, 2016. Personally I feel like it will be closer to June 21st than before June 21st just because Blizzard generally tends to push back their game so they're as polished as they possibly can be, which is not a bad thing in any way. Now the game is currently in closed beta, invites are going out as we speak and more are being sent out all the time and coming up in the future we will be having closed beta weekends where they will be inviting more people than usual to play for a specific weekend and test out the game. Now there is no word currently of an open beta for the game but personally I have my fingers crossed for both an invite to the beta as well as an open beta coming up sometime soon. Regarding the pricing of the game I feel like there is some confusion so I'd like to clarify very briefly. Now there will be three editions available for Overwatch. We have the standard edition which is only on the PC, repeat only on the PC for $40, the Origins edition which is $60 and then the Collector's edition for $130 and all of those prices are in US dollars. The standard edition of the game is just the base game and it includes 21 heroes and it is digital and again just for the PC. Now the Origins Edition, this is the one that is being uh, advertised quite heavily. It has the base game plus 5 in-game skins as well as goodies for other Blizzard titles being a set of wings in Diablo, a hero in Heroes of the Storm, a Hearthstone card back, a World of Warcraft pet, as well as a portrait to be used in StarCraft 2. Again, kind of cool, but not really something you would really buy the game for unless you're really into one of those games and want one of those rewards specifically. Finally, we have the Collector's Edition, which will feature all of the goodies from the Origins Bundle, as well as a statue of Soldier 70 Fix, a visual source book full of illustrations of all the heroes and such, and the soundtrack of the game. And now all three of these are available for pre-order on Blizzard's website, but I'm not sure we should be pre-ordering this game quite yet and I'm going to tell you why. The reason I say that is because we don't know how future content will yet be worked into the game. We know that we will not be having a hero store, i.e. microtransactions, in the game at launch courtesy of an interview with a Blizzard employee. Now keywords there are at launch. There could be one later on, we don't really know. Will we be buying expansion packs with maps and heroes bundled together? Will we have a store for skins? Will there be no DLC at all? Again, a Blizzard employee also said in an interview that for now we don't have plans for more heroes, but again they also said things could change, so answers have been very vague here, so I feel like pre-ordering the game is something that people should maybe hold off on potentially until we have a better idea of how future DLC will be worked into the game or if there even is future DLC, but moving away from the free to play model, I really hope that they don't add a hero store or any kind of microtransactions because I believe 40 to $60 for the game is already enough as it is without further payments. Now with my little rant aside, I'll stop being a negative Nelly, the game does look incredibly fresh. It looks to possess a level of polish that only Blizzard can attain. The game looks like it's incredibly fun and it can possess both that competitive edge as well as that more casual edge as well and the heroes all look super unique and super fun and for that, I'm really excited for. I'm curious to know what are your thoughts on Overwatch from the information that we know thus far. You can leave that in the comments section down below. Now I personally am crossing my fingers for a beta invite to this game or that open beta that I was hoping for as well as I just cannot wait to try this game out. And of course like this video if you have enjoyed it. You can follow me on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with me further. And of course if you want to see more Overwatch content be sure to subscribe to my channel. Everyone this has been Asal and I will see you guys next time.